hello everybody welcome again to another video on my channel my name is blessing this is your blessed on tv i welcome you if you are coming here for the first time join us here subscribe hit that subscribe button and i want to say thank you to every one of you who already subscribed who continue to support me on this channel thank you so much you know i always say thank you i appreciate your support so this video is about the celebrity news that is trending right now concerning tunde ed not Judo Koye and Cynthia Morgan. So Cynthia was trending because she gave an interview claiming that uh, Judo Koye has, you know, taken her name and she cannot use her name. She cannot use her brand name. And, you know, she said she has a lot of uh, debt on Judo Koye, but she's not going to sue him or she decided not to sue him. She just let it go like that. Let me just let you watch this clip. I'm Cynthia Morgan. That's still my legal name. But um, as Cynthia Morgan was, was an artist. You know, I was on a label. Uh, a lot of opinions. Oh, we have to be crazy. We have to wear the red hair thing because she do that. So, of course, I'm, I'm a very energetic person. My music is super energetic. So at first, when I started music, because I'm, I'm naturally a very chill person. I don't, if there's no reason to be energetic, then there's no, you know, I'm not performing. I'm not working. You know, that's, that's for stage and you know that's for work so um they were like no you know as entertainers i think you really need to look crazy you need to sound like you need to look like what you sound like you know it's just crazy and at that point i wasn't the one investing on my project so i have to listen no it was a whole misunderstanding the is it a tax tax evasion they they were taxing cynthia morgan obviously and um, that's my label that's my formal label because like they have all the money with them if you want to tax Cynthia Morgan and I think the labor is legal so obviously the pay tax when I left the labor that's the differentiation Madrina and Cynthia Morgan I had dirt on him like so much you know I didn't fight him because I didn't I didn't really think it was it was necessary you were not advised by a lawyer you just took it in good faith and moved on and tried exactly. to create yeah. a new brand exactly 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 in this time you have a legal you have a, you have a legal contract with him yes don't I, you think you could have yeah if i if i had gone if i if i died with jude obviously i would have i would have but i didn't just think it was necessary i didn't really think it was necessary yeah i, I, I thought it was time for me to i'd grow because i went through a lot of Cynthia morgan that a lot of people don't even know about so i just felt like it was time for me to awaken a new a new movie. That obviously she's in a very bad place right now and she's trying to come up again this comeback she has been trying to do it for a while now but obviously it has not been working but this time she gave this interview last year because she was trying to do a comeback and she went to channels news and in fact they featured her and i got these clips from there and yeah she was talking very very exuberantly you know she said she still had her name uh, you know it's a brand name like she was very confident she said she left the uh you know contract she wanted to do something for herself to explore to do rebrand herself and give herself a new look you know she said that uh, she chose the name mandrina because uh, cynthia morgan as a brand name even though it's her legal name as a brand name uh, she was not in control of what cynthia morgan as a brand does uh, obviously it was her producer that is a uh, um, judo koya and his people who were in control of uh, that brand and so they told her what to do what kind of hair to wear and the kind of uh, attitude or the personality that that brand name should be and she didn't want that she wanted to change it she wanted to have control of her you know her appearance the impression she wants to make and all those kind of a thing so tunde ednot is a very popular influencer and i think he is on instagram he has his own media i don't actually know much about him but i know that he has a very 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 large following so shout out to tunde ednot i think that tunde ednot is just trying to use his influence i know that he has a very very large uh social media 
presence and influence and i think he's trying to bring cynthia morgan into the limelight and he has actually achieved that because right now she's trending everybody has heard this news and this 360 deal that they are talking about you know when you go to google it's one of the highest things that are being searched and i also looked it up because i didn't know what it meant and yeah it said in the music industry a 360 degrees deal is a business relationship between an artist and a music industry company the company agrees to provide financial and other support for the artist including direct advances as well as support in marketing promotion touring and other areas in turn the artist agrees to give the company a percentage of an increased number of their revenue streams often including sales of recorded music live performances publishing and more so yeah i think that Tunde Ednot is actually doing the influencing already and so he brought Judo Koye to come and give his own side of the story. I really like what he did that he brought Judo Koye to come and give his own side of the story so that at least you can have a balanced view of both sides, what is going on. So when you listen to Cynthia Morgan and you are listening to uh, Judo Koye, you will like you'll be able to make a better judgment of what went down. So I'll let you hear what uh, Judo Koye has to say. So what exactly do you want to know? That's what you're calling. What we want to know now is that she's toxic when she left your record label. Mm. See, things going to happen to her anyhow. She could not progress. She could not do anything. She was depressed. Nobody could give her money, everything. See, you call me calm. The contract we sign with her, she cannot use the name Cynthia Morgan anymore. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See now you do them like this. We should know if you progress again. You don't answer the question, right? So what happened? Now I'll ask my question. <laughs> okay, Cynthia, first of all, then, look at it this way. Which law for anywhere? I don't I think uh, cloud chasing now is um is uh, an essential uh, way of life now for people. Yeah. Because I'm going to send you the contract I have since your I want you to go through it. It's like a four or five page uh, contract. Go through it and single out anywhere way the name Cynthia Morgan was assigned to be represented or owned by a company. Mm -hmm. That is one. And number two, I had not even prepared the contract. Cynthia mm -hmm. Morgan and her former manager, Joy, prepared mm -hmm. that contract. I only just put it on my letterhead and signed. Because she was pressuring me. Joy herself was pressuring me, dude, please sign that, sign that, sign that. Joy brought her to America. Mm. Joy did her passport, put visa inside, send her, carry her, come to America for Atlanta, come in for Atlanta, just for me to see her one on one. Because she, she had been talking about her for a very long time, that I should give her a chance, give her a chance. So he brought her in uh, 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 Atlanta, where I am sitting free. I wasn't doing it, I was just resting for, on, on vacation. So when we came back to Nigeria, Joy was still saying, ah, it's just a, a, a 360 deal kind of contract that I should look at it on, on the internet. Bro, I don't, I've never signed any artist before. She was mm. the first. So I don't know how it happens. I wasn't wanted to, I wanted to call clients Peter, to even say, oh, how do I take do this thing? Is it a three, I mean, 50-50, uh, 30, 70, as how they take share, whatever, how they think they go. That was like mm. 360 is a normal average American way of uh, contracting artists. Mm. So she now brought it to me. I was like, okay, Joy, I know what it is. Sit down with her, look at her, any way I want the contract to be, make her just print her for it ahead. Mm. That was actually, I did not prepare that contract. So, wow. at the end of the day, now she is now saying that how is that even possible? I don't know. I'm that I'm now seriously saying how gullible Nigerians are. As in, somebody say I stop them from using the name where mama and papa give them, and it is believable. No, but she posts something, no, she posts something, no, it's which she posts part that of the was, contract that says what. No, she's no part of the contract. Yeah, she talks. See, after a certain year, if you like, she did part of your record label. Mm -hmm. So if she won't move, come out, you have you still have the right because see now you give her the name. No, no, nothing like that. She posted that. Like that. Um, today, person can print something and write. I will send you my contract with her signature. She she notify uh, what's the guy uh, notify all the uh, pages. pages. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, on the Cynthia Morgan issue. Please, you have a contract with me. It's a 360 deal. I've mm. spent over 40 million naira on you. You go out, you left even before your contract expired. 
Mm. Have, I ever, have I ever gone to court to uh, uh, get uh, uh, court uh, injunction over on, on you? I let mm. you go with all the money you got. I beg, when you are busy telling people what I supposedly did to you, did mm. you tell them I gave you a Range Rover? Did you tell them I paid your house rent? To that white Range Rover. Short time with me. That white Range Rover. Now you give them. Yes, now the white one. Tell... Um, to the TV. Get accident to that Range Rover. Did you tell people, these same people, that I gave you money to buy land for your mama for Benny? He me. As in, I don't understand. Did you tell people how many shows where you don't play for back without my knowledge? Where's Joy Tongo report about? That's why you wanted her to be wow. out of the picture. See, I sit back like I'll be like, how can somebody believe that I will spend 40 million plus on an artist only for me to see that artist fail? Where, where then goes my money? Mm, mm. Where then goes my money? As in, I, I they look for where I go, my money too full, I they look for where I go throw am. So my people have presented both sides of the story to you and I think that you are in a better place to come along with me because I want to bring an aspect of this conversation that nobody is talking about, that everyone is overlooking and which is loyalty. Loyalty. Nigerians, please, loyalty matters. Loyalty. Somebody just gives you a platform. A, like Other than that, you will not be able to have that platform. Look at even this small YouTube that we are doing. Eh? It's not even very easy to build a large following on this YouTube on your own. You know, sometimes you need to uh, go and look for collaboration, look for people to help you pay for advertisement. People do a lot of things to boost their platforms, you know. And if you have somebody who is doing this thing for you and you sign a deal, this is 360 deal, and you should be able to stay by it. It is what you agreed on. So even if you along the line you think that it's not working well for you you know that you know monkey they walk baboon they chop that kind of thing but you should be able to maybe renegotiate the deal you know there are so many things you can do but reneging on it and walking away from it it, it is not good we really need to tell ourselves the truth now she's playing the victim like she's just absolute victim she had no hand to play in it even though she's saying that she takes responsibility for her life and she wants to explore now she has explored the water you know when you say there are so many fishes in the ocean you think you can just go there throw your net and fishes will begin to come so when you come back with an empty net you now begin to cry and say oh that person i make me go the you know throw net inside water but let's face it now where is the responsibility why where is uh, you know acknowledging that yeah maybe i was too forward you know you think that okay it is easy you think that because you have the talent uh, but uh, you know you are the one uh, off of your back they are making money you see all this uh, entertainment something they have talents in different ways some people are back uh, dancers or you know behind the scenes people they are technicians they are guitarists you know they are the producers there are those people who are doing so many things so you as an artist you are also rendering a part so everything comes together and when you see all those money everybody deserves something from it you know so uh, sometimes nigeria people when they sign a contract or maybe you, you agree something with them and then they will think that oh you are making all this money and everything is coming off my back they think that they can go it alone they can do it alone they forget where they are coming from and the worst thing is they trivialize the hell the upliftment everything you do for them they trivialize it and everybody that is supporting this kind of behavior is going to be because you have never been in a position to actually take somebody up you know and try to lift them up because when you have been in that situation you you know you know what it takes to take somebody up and you know with all your good mind of course all these people who are doing all this production they are also scouting for talent so now from inside and go chop so if they see you they can also you know uh, sponsor you if they believe that you will be able to make the money that they need and of course there are rooms for uh, exploitation there i'm not saying that uh, maybe there is no taking advantage or, or anything like that there is taking advantage everywhere even with that we are here sometimes when you are new and you don't know your way around you don't have anything you you know you enter some jobs you you take some you know contracts even some loan you sign you know you sign something you don't really understand 
and when the period of uh, review has passed which is two weeks i you don't have any you know authority uh, to repeal whatever you have signed you have to enjoy it to the end of it so it has always been like that so my thing is nobody is an absolute victim and nobody is an absolute explorer here so where am i going with all this i want to give you an example of a story in the bible it's called the parable of the laborer in the vineyard it's the story of a vineyard owner and uh, this story was told by jesus christ himself in the book of matthew chapter 20 verse 1 to 16. he told of this land owner who needed laborers he went out and got laborers in the money and they promised them that they will pay them one denarius and they accepted it's a deal they accepted the offer and they went to work and at midday he went out this landowner went out again and he saw some people and they they needed job he said come and work for one denarius they came at 4 p.m at 5 p.m you know he went on like this until one hour to the end of the day you know and they all accepted to work for one denarius and at the end of the working day when it was time for them to be paid he started paying those people who came later he paid them one denarius and the people who were working in the morning up to that time they were expecting that if they paid the people who just came now who just came an hour or a few minutes later uh, to the end of the day if they paid them one denarius they were really expecting that the landowner would pay them more because they've been working from money till that time. But lo and behold, when it got to their turn, the landowner gave them one denarius and they were grumbling and they were not happy. And, you know, he asked them, but when we made this agreement in the money, we said one denarius and you agreed to the deal. They said, yes, so why are you angry? And he told them that, but you agreed to one denaro in the money when we made this agreement, this deal, this offer. You accepted it and you came to work for one denaro. So what is the problem? If I decide to be generous and pay the people who came later, is it not my money? Do I, do I not have the freedom to pay according to how I will? You know, you agree to one denaro, so have your money. It is my job i'm offering if i offer to pay you this deal and you accept it so you keep to it so where am i going with all this nigerians please loyalty counts be loyal be loyal there is no rush anywhere sometimes everybody is in a rush to go somewhere to go and do something okay look at it now if she has stayed on that label who knows how big she will be now you know there are some musicians that started with their churches you know like if you go to christ embassy they have all these top christian musicians they are working under their pastor imagine if they decide to leave that place and leave that love word uh, label and they want to go and create their own name and their own platform you know, there is no place for that. There is nothing like being loyal to wherever you started from. Eh? It's just a short time. You will, It will pass and you will continue with your life. But we are so in, impatient. We want to have it now. And in so doing, we trivialize everything that the person has done. You understand? She's saying that he didn't just do anything. He was only doing this. You know, it is not easy if you are not in the position to do that for another person that is not your family and is strictly business. It's the same thing here in this Europe all over the world. You understand me? So what I'm trying to say in all this, what everybody can take away from this. One, I think that Tunde Ed not is just being an influencer and he has actually achieved that now because Cynthia is trending again. So whenever she's releasing whatever music she's going to release now, you know, Tunde Ednot is going to use that influence to push it for her. You understand? And I see that Tunde Ednot is not really taking this interview very seriously. He was laughing. But, you know, Jude Okoye was agitated and I can understand his agitation and, you know, whatever uh, went down between them. So, yeah, Nigerians, please, if you want to work with somebody and the person is being humane with you, don't pay him with ingratitude. Ingratitude will make people not to help other people that are coming. You see, if you feel that you are being exploited, you can endure up to a moment. Very, very soon you will have your own, uh, you know, contract that will suit you. When you are upcoming, you don't have too many choices. You understand? You work hard to come from that low, then, you know, you, you are able to renegotiate again. And it's all over the world. It's the same thing. So this is all I'm saying. There's no need to be crucify him, crucify her, uh, you know, blame gay. I believe that she has learned her lesson that 
all that glitters is not gold that it is not easy anywhere you know it is not really easy for you to just go out and make a name for yourself and make it's going to take time it's going to take time you have to build on it but whereby somebody already have that platform and brings you and fishes you on that platform please be loyal be grateful don't rivalize that help that that person has rendered you you know because it's not even ending immediately there are so many ways there are so many years ahead you can still meet each other you can still have so many things in common to share along the road all this build and break it doesn't really build wealth. It doesn't really build consistency. It doesn't really help anyone in the end. In the end, you have all this scattered, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, they end up broke. They end up like, you know, no royalties, no nothing. Please, there is no need for this hurry. Anyway, I just wanted to give you this perspective in all this story that is going on, that this is the moral of what I see about it, that be patient if you're an upcoming artist it's going to take time you understand it is possible somebody may take advantage of you it is possible but whether you don't have the means yourself you have to endure it's part of the building it up you understand me i'm not saying that uh, you should be there and exploited completely obviously you have a deal that is something like in the case of the may day he said uh, the guy said he gave him a contract without an incentive he wanted everything at once cars houses and everything you know and he decided to go alone to uh, to do it himself and he didn't end up doing anything for him himself so there is nothing like patience and perseverance and you know keeping your mark and knowing where you are going and being loyal to anybody who offers you help so that the people that are helping will not be discouraged to pick up new people and help them and advance them you understand because many times we blame all these rich people and say uh, you know they are just doing things for themselves but when they take somebody from nowhere somebody who has no family support who has no uh, you know rich background and they want to prop you up like this just little light that you will see like this is she a bogey your head don't scatter say now me be this you will not be able to calm down and get to the end of where you are going to please my people this is what i see in all these things patience perseverance loyalty gratitude it will take you so many places it will if you can try it i'm telling you so Cynthia, I hope that you have learned your lesson. Now that Tunde Ednot is helping you with his influence, don't throw it under the garbage and say he didn't do anything. Uh, he just made that interview. It's a lot because now you are trending. Yes, it's a lot. Don't trivialize it tomorrow and say it's because of your talent. Talent is not enough most times when it comes to being an artist and becoming you know world class you know world famous uh, artist you need a platform to stand on and anybody that gives you that is a great deal don't trivialize it never you do that so yeah thank you so much for listening to me if you are not subscribed yet i hope that you will subscribe to my channel thank you so much for doing so and i'll see you very soon in another video bye for now bye bye